I still have reservations and so I genuinely am just really confused at the second. Like, I don't want to have that conversation with him. I don't know if I'm like not ready or if I like just don't want to have it or... What conversation is that? Like that this might not go somewhere. I don't know what to do. That's like really honestly deep down. I actually, I don't know what to do. You know I like you. Mm. You just start there. But like, I guess like I have reservations about like at the end, choosing the one that like I see a future with. Yeah. Like this is such a hard decision for yeah. me. So, like, I've decided that I didn't want to take anyone to the final rounds. Okay. Like, you said that if I chose no one, you'd be most upset about that because yeah. you'd feel like I lived disappointed. Yeah. But I'm... <laughs> like, I'm not disappointed. I knew what I wanted from the beginning and it was, a, a, you know, finding that long-term person, a forever person, and I think if I hadn't found that, I wasn't going to to pretend like I had or feel like the pressure that I had. And I, and to be fair, like, I didn't feel pressure. You know, it is kind of societal pressure, and maybe everyone has a little bit, but it's also pressure I put on myself um, to, have to, to have to do that. But I'm really proud that I feel like empowered enough at this second that I didn't find the right person for me. And if that's the case, it's okay that I've left this with no one.